Hello everyone, welcome to Free Learning School. Today we will be talking about a very interesting math operation which is root operation. But what is root operation? Root operation is basically the inverse operation of exponents. In our last video, we talked about basic exponents. We learned that 4 to the power 2 is basically 4 times 4 is 16. 4 cube is actually 4 times 4 times 4 which is 64. So from our exponent operation we know that these 4 is the base, these 2 is the exponent and this is the result. So in root operation we ask you for example if I write 4 square the question is how many times we have to multiply 4 to get the result. We know from the exponent that we have to multiply 4 2 times to get the result, which is 16. 2 cube, it means how many times we have to multiply 2 to get the result. So we know 2 times 2 times 2. We have to multiply 3 and the result is 8. In root operation, we will be talking about the inverse operation. So before I start about the inverse operation, let me explain one thing that what is inverse operation. In basic math we learned about the four math function which is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So these two is basically inverse operation of each other and these two are inverse operation of each other. For example if I write 4 plus 2 minus 2 the result remain 4. So by adding 2, we want to, want to add 2 and from subtraction, we actually deducted 2. So the result remains the same. So if I add and subtract, it actually undo the thing and we get the same result. So it same goes for multiplication and division. So root operation is basically a inverse operation of exponent. So if I ask you what is the root of 16, what is the result? So it actually tells us what is the number we have to multiply. So let's assume this one number and this is the same number. So what is the number that we have to multiply to get the result 16? And we have to multiply how many times? Here is the result, 2 times. So if we want to get 16, we know the result that if we multiply 4 2 times, we will get 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So the square root of 16 is equal to 4. Now if I write third root of 8, now you have to find out the result. The question is how many times we have to multiply a certain num number to get the result of 8. So we know the result by heart that it is 2. If I multiply 2 3 times we will get 8. But the problem arises what if I ask you how many times you have to multiply to get the result of 16. What is the result? So this is pretty complicated and we can use the help of a calculator to get it done or we can use a special algorithm which I will be discussing in a later class that how we can find out through an algorithm but for the time being let's learn it from the calculator so this is our calculator so if we want to find out the 16 here is the sign 3 the result is 2.51 9842. So the result is 2.519842. So let's short it a little bit. We can write 52. So if I multiply 2.52 three times, we're supposed to get 16. Let's multiply in the calculator and see how much we get. 2.52 
times 0.52 times 2.52 the result is 16.003 this is very close to 16 as we round it up here now let me tell you this symbol when there is no number here will simply say this is square root for example if I write 16 that means this is the square root of 16 and the square root of 16 is 4 if I write like this the square root of 4 which is 2 but if I want to find out the fourth root of a particular number for example we want to find out the fourth root of 64 the result is 4 it means we have to multiply 4 4 times to get the result so this is actually the inverse operation of exponent we call it root and this is one of the very common math operation that we will be doing in algebra but most of the cases the root is not a perfect number for example the if i ask you to find out the fifth root of 10 this will not be a perfect root so you have to find out the result and you have to take the help of calculator or you can use the algorithm later on to find out the result so this is pretty complicated so hope you understood what is the basic root operation looks like and you can use it and try to remember and try to memorize few of the square root from 1 to 10 that will help you a lot and you have to practice a lot in your club in your home so that you can understand how this square root operation works hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe to my channel to get more videos